today we're going to have a look at the lead acid battery activator we published in the March-April issue of 2017. The idea behind this uh, project is to use uh, short current pulses to revert the sulfating of the battery. This will improve the capacity of the battery. Here you see the activator connected to a battery. You see the wires here that are used for a shunt circuit to take short current pulses of about 100 ampere from this battery. There are also two wires that are used to measure the voltage on the pulse of the battery itself. The shunt resistance used is that white thing over here. The voltage across this resistor is measured. The voltage across uh, the battery is measured. And from that, uh, the internal resistance of the battery is calculated. You can see it here on the display. This voltage is uh, the voltage of the battery when there are no current pulses. This 8.75 volts is what is measured when 100 ampere about is drawn from the battery. You can see the current here, 101 ampere it says. And we measure about 30 milli milliohm resistance, internal resistance of the battery. And here you see a counter that is counting down between two subsequent pulses. Well, here we're going to have a look at the schematic of the battery activator. Uh, the battery is connected over here. You can see these wires for the shunt circuit. There's a diode for reverse polarity protection. This is the shunt resistance this resistor itself. A field effect transistor that is switched is pulsed to get the large current from the battery and a fuse to protect the circuit. Uh, here you see the wires for measuring the voltage across the battery. This can also be used to have the power supply for the complete circuit. Um, it is designed for batteries up to 30 volts, 24 volts will be more a practical value, but in principle you can use batteries up to 30 volts. But there are three ranges you can adjust here with these jumpers to select batteries from 0 to 10 volts, to 20 volts or to 30 volts. The battery voltage is divided here to match the ADC of a big microcontroller over here and a display and here you see some LEDs to give an indication of the state of charge of the battery and some error conditions too. Uh, there is also a DC-DC converter over here uh, to make sure that this field effect transistor has good sharp pulses that it opens at once and closes at once. You have to have a high enough voltage on the gate to switch it open. When you connect the battery it's very important that this uh, shunt circuit is as short as possible. You have to use uh, some thick wires to connect the battery to the shunt. You have to keep them really short to have as low the resistance as low as possible from the battery to the shunt. You can also connect it together with a battery charger so you can pulse the battery while the battery is being charged but in that case it's better to put some kind of choke between the charger and the battery in order to get the current pulses only from the battery and not from the charger. A second thing for this uh, shunt circuit is that, as I said, the resistance uh, must be as 
low as possible. And to achieve that, we, on the bottom side of the PCB, we put a lot of wire and solder so the resistance on the PCB is as low as possible. This uh, thing is not only suited for lead acid batteries, you can also use your rechargeable normal batteries to check them for their internal resistance. So you can do some quality check if the, those batteries are still good enough. Well, that's about it for this battery activator. Thank you. Thank you.